Okay, this is calibrating the, the chlorine pumps. So in order to cal calibrate the chlorine pumps, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to, uh, in, the, in the office, on the computer, both pumps have to be in hand mode. Now this is, you can see here that now that they've been put into hand mode and they're on 4 to 20 milliamps, they're both running at essentially full bore, whatever the, whatever the computer setting is asking for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to press the stop button and turn it into manual mode, and press this stop button and turn it into manual mode. This has changed the icon at the top left of the screen from a slash into like a finger pushing a square. Uh, that's how you know that you're, you're okay and you, that you're ready to do your calibration. So the next thing that you want to do is that you want to isolate the rest of the chlorine system from the, from the water plant uh, and between these pumps. So you close this valve up here. The second thing that you're going to do is that you're going to open the, the sight glass gauge and you can see that because this is a pressurized system it's actually uh, wanting to fill up this sight glass quite quite quickly so the first thing that you do is you let off the pressure at the bottom and that's going to drain that's going to allow this to drain back to the tank and then you can open up the the air relief at the top so I close the bottom I open the air relief now that I know that I have no pressure on the system as you can see, there's still a little bit of dripping happening here, so you're just going to wait a minute for all of that to catch up. Now, once you're confident that you're not gaining significant amounts of fluid anymore, what you're going to do is you're going to drain the liquid down to the bottom of where you want to take your measurement from. And once you have that zeroed out, you can isolate whichever pump you want to be uh, from the system. So if we want to calibrate number one, then we're going to have the fluid go up and go into the sight glass here. And so we want to isolate pump number two. Now even at the time that it's taken me to do this explanation, I can see that I've gained four, four milliliters. So just make sure that you have this dialed down to zero. You're going to press the mode button now that we're in manual. You're going to go down to flow calibration. It doesn't matter what the, what the uh, speed is. You're just going to press it. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare how much the pump thinks is pumped to how much actually shows up in the sight glass. And again, I've gained a little bit here. So I'm just going to take that down to zero. Press enter when you're ready, and press the green triangle to start. Now you'll see that it starts counting how much it thinks it's pumped. I think I'm going to stop it when it's gone somewhere around 60 or 70 milliliters. Stop it somewhere around 70. Okay, it says calibration accuracy improves with higher volumes. So we're just we're going to continue. Okay, so it says it thinks that it's pumped 70.9 milliliters. When I look into the sight glass here, knowing that I started at 100, and I can see that I'm at 2019 here. That means that I've pumped 81 milliliters. So I'm going to adjust it using the plus or minus keys. Press plus to say that I've actually done 81. Double check my math here. Oh, actually, in the time that it's taken, it's gone up to 83 milliliters. Okay, I'm going to press enter. It says there's a new value and there's a previous value. You're going to accept the new value. 
Then, because you've changed this, you have to double check how much you put in. So you drain it down to zero again. You're going to select to do a flow calibration again. Yeah, it's, uh, I want to use 117 mils per minute. Sure. I'm going to press start. I'm going to check again how much it thinks it's pumped versus how much shows up in the sight glass. Stop it again, somewhere around 70. Calibration improves with higher accuracy, or calibration accuracy improves with higher volumes. You're going to continue. So it says that it's pumped 70.1, and as I let this settle, I can see that I've actually got, I've actually done 61, 2, 3, 4 milliliters. So I'm going to target it down again. And press enter. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to do another flow calibration because I've changed the value again. You have to verify that what you're getting works. And what you're doing is you're going slightly above and slightly below, um, and you're just you're zeroing it in. You don't have to worry about wasting fluid with this because everything's just draining right back into the sodium hypochlorite tank. So it says that I've pumped 70.8 milliliters. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 70. It's starting to drip. Yeah, that's right. So I press enter to accept that calibration, and I now know that this pump is calibrated. I press the home button, and still leave it in manual mode. Now I want to test the second pump, so I'm going to turn off the valve for this first pump, open the valve for the second pump, drain the line down to zero, start again on the second pump now that this is open and this one's closed press mode flow calibration 100 mils per minute and press start it'll let it pump again about 70 and then double check Now I'm going to check, uh, it thinks that it pumped 69.9 mils. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 72 mils that it's pumped. So, using the plus, 72 mils. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to accept that. And then I'm going to recalibrate again. So I drain this down to zero. Press enter, press start.
we'll stop around 70. So it says it's done 69.7. And when I look here, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71 mils. So I'm going to turn this up to 71. And press enter, accept, and then drain it, and I'm going to recalibrate. Stop this at about 70. It says that it's done 71.1 uh, mils. I go here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to turn this down to 68 mils. You have to just keep on playing with this until you get it dialed perfectly. It says that I pumped 70.3 mils. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70. 70. 70. 70.3. I'm going to accept that. And because we've changed it again, we have to make sure that we're dialing this properly. Says that I think that I've done 71 mils. I've pumped 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71 mils. That matches. I now calibrated this. So now that both of these have been calibrated, they need to be turned back into 4 to 20 milliamps. They also need to have the line opened up again. So Close this line, that's your air relief. You're going to close your isolation valve. You can drain any fluid that you have out. Then you're going to want to open both pumps to the line again. You're going to want to charge up this line and then you're going to, you're going to open up the line back to the plant. So, leaving this still in the manual mode, I'm now going to press play on both units, and then I'm going to press max, and what that's going to do is that's going to pump fluid into the system, and I'll start to see the PSI go up on the gauge up here. 
When I reach the point where I'm triggering the back pressure valves, at about 60 PSI, then I know that I can open up this valve to the plant. It's natural there's going to be some air inside the line. That'll all get pushed through. And I'm going to press the max again. I'm just going to pump chlorine into the line. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that I've removed as much air as possible out of here. And then you're going to press the mode button. Turn this back to 4 to 20 milliamps for computer control. And additionally, go back to the office and turn the pumps back into automatic. And just like that, you've recalibrated your pumps.